Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Alundra 2. So, first we need to go up this. And if I'm remembering correctly, we need the pixie ring. Shoot! Yeah, climbing up this can be a little bit of a pain. I think jumping off and doing the little hover trick, like, I think it helps you to land on the platform. always kind of felt like it. I don't know, it might give you a slight boost forward. Yeah, this thing is really, really tall. fought these guys in a really long time. Obviously, this is a far stronger variant than the types that we fought before. Two more to go. Gotta kill all these guys to get a key. What the heck? There it is. Yeah, before going back down, you can also look through these telescopes. You can see some stuff. So that's a view of the ocean. One of them gives a view of something on the inner part of the island. It might be this one. No, it's not. I think most of these are just ocean views, but yeah, there is one that has something special. Not to say that view isn't special. Very pretty. Oh, here we go. I 
is a really, really, really big lizard tadpole thing. Oh yeah, this one has a bit of a different view too. Anyway, that's everything up here, so time to head back down. Yeah, if Flint falls far enough, he starts doing somersaults. Anyway, now that we've got our hard-earned key, we can go in here. The entrance to Dragonia. Now, I think this is the screen that it's on. Yes. If we go down here, we can get something quite unique. And I forgot that it has a very annoying puzzle to get it. Wait, oh. Oh wait, right, you have to light both of these first. Okay, now they have bombs, so yeah, you can see where this is going. Really, it's just finding the proper timing. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got the Shining Sword, which is the level 5 sword. I don't think there's anything we can get going up here, no. Ah. Between the fact that they fall back down if you don't move fast enough, and timing things between the spike ball, this can be just a little bit challenging. Darn it! Okay. Yeah, I would say Dragonia is probably the second hardest dungeon in the game. No, not even probably, it definitely is. Mostly due to the platforming and also the absolutely ridiculous sequence to get one of the puzzle pieces here. Also, we have to babysit this bomb for quite a while on this screen. I may as well just utilize these so we don't have to swap out the ring. Okay, 
Oh well, now we have to do it anyway. So let's see here. Gotta pick this up. Jump up here with it. Yeah, now we have to get it past the flame blowers without it uh, igniting. And once we get it all the way over to here... Well, you could have thrown it on the other torch too, but yeah. What is in here? Oh, yes. The, uh, ridiculous freaking sequence that I talked about to get a puzzle piece. Oh gosh, how does one even begin with this? Um... Oh no, wait, never mind. I'm thinking of something completely different. It's similar to this. There's a relatively long sequence of bombs that you basically, you basically have to detonate them and, I don't know, it's like a long chain of running, grabbing, and throwing bombs as they detonate so that you can destroy, like, a chain of blocks. It's like what we just did there, but way more complicated. It's probably the hardest puzzle piece to get in the whole game, not counting that one from the freaking remote control car minigame. This is a different kind of hard. Like, this is the hardest one that's not from a mini-game. Yeah, their cloaking doesn't exactly help them very much. was all to get a puzzle piece too. Well, time to move on. Oh yeah, this, th this fun little room too. Quote unquote fun. Because if they throw the bombs in the wrong places, then you can't get that chest. Wait, or can you? Hold on, can you jump on top of this? Is there no way to get that now? What if I go up here and come back down?
Oh my... Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. That was like the luckiest thing ever and I screwed it up. Come on. Wait a sec. Hold up. Can I just do that? Oh my gosh, yes! Get a panacea. Worth it for that effort, I guess. Okay, finally moving on. Yeah, this part could be a little annoying. Okay, yeah, this this one's not gonna do anything. Ah, the timing for these bombs. Okay. Close. Not close at all. Get it? Yes! Oh, it, oh I, th I think this is the room with another just very lovely little gimmick. No, it's not. Never mind. That's another room. Please don't barf poison on me, thanks. It's rather rude and gross. Okay, nothing over here. Wait. I thought that was a ladder for a second. Oh joy, this is the bomb sequence. And I'm now remembering that it's not just to get a puzzle piece, it's actually mandatory, but there is a puzzle piece you can get in the process. Yeah, not sure where Dragonia 1 is, unless that's the next save point for some reason. Remember one of the other dungeons was like that too? And yeah, we already screwed that up. Unless Dragonia 1 is actually the, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. I see what I'm doing wrong here. 
It might just be the Dark Isle save point. Okay, so shoot that. Ah. You have to pick that bomb up while it's falling, run over here, throw that bomb over that to blow up the block over there. Actually, I think it'll blow up both blocks. And then you have to grab this bomb and take it over there to, like, use it as a platform or something. Yeah, it's complicated. There's also an instant detonation bomb there. I think we need both of those in order to... Yeah. Okay, let's equip the Siren Ring again. Okay, put out that. Now I think we have to... Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, right. This bomb has to actually be up on top of here. Okay. And now we gotta jump with the pixie ring at the maximum possible height. Okay, and drop onto that. And from there we get up to this. So maybe not super difficult, but yeah, very complicated. Honestly, there's probably more difficult ones in the next dungeon. when they throw out dud bombs, it makes this so much easier. Well, not really dud bombs, but unlit bombs.
another puzzle piece. Well, here's the room that I was referencing earlier. So yeah, the really annoying thing about this room is you basically have to get this frog guy to jump up there and land on the switch, and it is pretty much complete RNG. So yeah, have fun with this. Probably my least favorite room in this whole dungeon. Oh, there we go! And key acquired. Fitting that Dragonia would have a dragon, I suppose. I somehow forgot that we still had this coming up. Yeah, if this looks vaguely familiar, well, this is why. So yeah, to a certain someone, uh... Still think they're cute, or do you think they're more freaky now? This is what I was referencing. I, I, I think in this, the uh, stream chat that one time. Oh wow, that has way less HP than I thought. As for these things, well, this thing which is about to become these things. Literally no different from all the ones we fought before. What even are these things? Seriously, I mean... It was suggested that they're like slimes or something maybe? But, I don't know, like they don't attack. And they don't have wind-up keys in them either, so I don't think they're Mephisto creations. I don't get what's up with those enemies. Okay, that's where we use the key, and that's where we came up. Okay.
It's your thing, Tyrion. Yeah, you probably thought he was going to be a boss fight or something. No, but the actual boss fight is coming up here very shortly. Oh my gosh, it is backwards. What is up with that? Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to avoid these things. did you get in here? Well, if it's a fight you're looking for, then you've come to the right place. Bloodfang! Get him! So yeah, the only really difficult thing about Bloodfang is actually hitting him. Because the only time you can hit him is when he's going in a circle. Also, the sunburst attack comes in very handy in this fight as well. Because it allows you to completely screw up his second phase attack. In a pretty epic fashion, too. Missed him. Quite a bit of health, though. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I wasn't sure if he was going to immediately do the attack there or not. Okay. There we go. I love it when boss fights have hidden techniques like that. Honestly, I wonder if there's more hidden stuff like that in this game that I just never really knew about. Also, I really need to be prepared for that. Yeah, I don't think so. Nice! That was the finisher! Bloodfang! No! Bloodfang! How can it be? My dear, sweet Bloodfang! And that is Dragonia more or less completed. Got ourselves another elemental orb. The three-eyed idol.
and... Yeah, we need to give that to Tyrion. Anyway, I think that'll be it for this episode. Next time, I'm gonna rescue Tyrion and get out of here. See ya, everyone.